Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and just a quick PSA that you can still get some incandescent bulbs from Amazon. So I've listed a couple of different links in the description below where you can get incandescent bulbs. So they're not fully banned. The standard incandescent bulbs that I got before the ban, like this one on the left, those ones are the kind of ones that are banned because they're the general service illumination lights. But there are a lot of incandescent bulbs that have specialty purposes that are excluded from the ban. And that includes the incandescent heat lamps, which I've covered before, incandescent bulbs that are used for appliances like ovens and microwaves and refrigerators. Those are all excluded and there's nothing stopping you from getting a converter and using one of those. And what I'll be testing here is the incandescent bulb on the right, which is more of a decorative or ornamental. So that's probably why it's also kind of excluded in a loophole. But after watching Dr. Roger Schultz on the Diary of a CEO podcast, he basically said you couldn't really get incandescent bulbs anymore. And then the interviewer actually just pulled up on Amazon that, uh, yeah, you can get some of these bulbs. So I've had these bulbs for a while, and now seems like a good time to test them. Is that we really can't get the old incandescent bulbs. We're on LED or, or fluorescent. So do I change my bulbs? <sighs> It's difficult to do that because you can't pick up inf uh, these incandescent bulbs. What about these kinds of bulbs? Is that an incandescent bulb? That's a, uh, that is a, that is an incandescent bulb. And so if you're really shopping for incandescent bulbs, you know, there are a few things you can look for. You don't need fancy equipment for, uh, you know, you can see the filament, that wire filament inside the bulb. And that's, you know, that's how the incandescence works. So, you know, you wouldn't see that in a standard LED. So when you're shopping for LEDs, it's kind of confusing because it says 60 watt replacement or sometimes it says 60 watt equivalent uh, but it's actually not consuming it it's actually an 8 watt led but when you're shopping for an incandescent bulb they're actually consuming around 60 watts because they're a lot, a lot less efficient so you know what you're getting it needs to say actually it's consuming 60 watts and it's not like an led that's a 60 watt equivalent for the brightness uh, but the incandescent bulbs are actually consuming that 60 watts so again you just confirm it's got a wire filament and it's actually consuming 60 watts. And one of the most obvious ways to confirm you have an incandescent bulb is just to hold your hand a couple inches away and you'll feel that radiant heating, that radiant warmth from the longer wavelength infrareds, which you wouldn't really feel from an LED unless you let it run for like 30 minutes and it's kind of warmed up, but you wouldn't really feel that from just turning on an LED right away. You feel this warmth from the incandescent bulb right away because it's emitting that radiant energy. So let's just check my older incandescent bulb that is banned right now. So with the old style incandescent bulbs, we get 80 milliwatts per centimeter squared at about, you know, an inch away. And we get this very broad spectrum. My spectrometer does cut off around 1100, so it would keep going out further and further, uh, but the spectrometer is limited. So we're getting 80 milliwatts per centimeter squared in this range, so that's pretty substantial. And we see the color corrected temperature, the temperature Kelvin is about 2800, so it's a very nice kind of yellowish uh, color, very natural, you know, that a lot of people have gotten accustomed to. If you're used to the old style incandescent bulbs that are around 27 or 2800 Kelvin. So these new incandescent bulbs that I linked in the description have more of a yellowish coating on the glass. You can see that pretty clearly. And so that's going to drop the color temperature closer to 2200 Kelvin. So it's going to make it more of a yellowish situation. So the color is not great. Now let's test this one. So about an inch away, we get 63 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Again, the range is a little bit limited, but we do see we get a lot of near infrared. And the color temperature is 2200 Kelvin, but the color is a lot more yellowish than the other bulb. It's not as bright, uh, but again, it is a cheap way to get some of that infrared incandescence that a lot of people are lacking. These are the wavelengths that Scott Zimmerman and Glenn Jeffries and Dr. Roger Schultz are saying are very important to the human health, even at extremely low intensities and doses. These kind of ambient light bulbs are scattering the light all around. It's not really, you know, a direct photobiomodulation effect, but it's that ambient near infrared that we've lost in our environment. For example, if we measure the intensity at just 12 inches away, it'll be quite a bit lower. So the intensity dropped down to 2.2 milliwatts per centimeter squared at just 12 inches away. That's because incandescent bulbs actually follow the inverse square law, unlike LED panels. So at three feet away, we're down to 0.3 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So again, it's more about getting that ambient near infrared into your environment. And it's not necessarily about, you know, uh, photobiomodulation, high intensity thresholds. 
Or maybe I can put it in this kind of clamp lamp and have some more directionality to it if you want to try to use it more therapeutically. So you just find something to clamp it onto. I clamped it onto this dumbbell. So now more of the light is being reflected forward. So now we're getting eight milliwatts per centimeter squared at 12 inches away, which is perfectly therapeutic. So again, there's a lot of ways you can get near infrared lighting cheaply and affordably and get it into your house and get more of that ambient benefit. Or you can even hack it and get a reflector lamp like this and use it a little bit more therapeutically. So it adds more directionality with how it's reflecting more of the light forward at us. So all the other incandescent bulbs here are pretty much the same. I just liked having three options because sometimes Amazon listings like to disappear Disappear, and then people ask me for new testing so here's three options that you know if one disappears and you still have some backup options so I already tested them all beforehand so they're all very similar so again a lot of options for incandescent bulbs even now after the so-called ban uh, there's a lot of great options so hopefully that helped thanks for tuning in